Okay, now I'm going to unfreeze this pane here. So we click on it. It used to be H, but since we inserted some columns, it's now J that's frozen. So we go to View. We click on the J where it says Freeze Panes. Just say Unfreeze Panes, okay? Now the whole thing rolls back and forth the way I want it to. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, uh, because I don't want to actually email these out, I'm going to insert a column and I'm going to say Email to the way it was before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my own email address for maybe 10 of them just to show you how this will turn out. And I'm going to copy that down to about to there. Alright, now we're going to just save this and this is saved in the My Data sources or My Data. Okay, I'm going to open up the flyer Many for. Okay, now at this point, if I say yes to this, it's going to hook up to the old spreadsheet that we had before. So I'm actually going to say no. Alright, and now we're going to go to mailings, say select recipients, use existing list, and instead we're going to go to the yellow pages here. We're going to open that up. Normally it gives you sheet, no, uh, sheets in there, but I'll just say OK to that. OK, it's going to ask you to substitute some of the uh, the other embedded code we had. So, for instance, we had something named image in the in the other sheet. So this time we're calling it map instead. So you just go down here where it says map. Say OK. All right. Now let's look at this. Okay, it can't find the word company because we called it business name, so go like that. And again, business name, say OK. So hopefully we've made it happy now. Okay, so there is, it says business name instead of name. We, we called it name in the other one. Okay, let's see where else. All right, and there's business name as well, okay? Now we actually have to go into the code, which I haven't taught you yet. Actually, it's the embedded code. Okay, so I'm going to go into the code right now and change where these prospects are because they're not there. Not where They're in a different directory now. It's called Seattle. And then... Uh, food and map like that's the correct directory I hope let's see if that works it does okay so we changed the name of the directory there and now I have to do it down here too so I'm going to move this little text box out of the way so I can get at this and look at the code again. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to change that. And that worked. Okay, so I've got all my stuff in there. And you can see this thing works too. See, they, it doesn't matter where you put the boxes. You know, they still work. So we're going to put this one back here. Yeah. Click out here somewhere. And there's all the pictures. Oh, Canlis isn't working for some reason. So I probably didn't name that right. All right, let's see what's wrong. Okay, to edit the uh, spreadsheet, you actually have to close this off and save it because otherwise it gives you a read-only notification. So we're going to find out what was wrong with that. And yes, I did a dumb thing. <laughs>
Spelled it the wrong thing. Okay, it's camera's map dot jpg. Okay, you might find a few other errors here too. So we'll save that. And then we gotta close it. And now we're gonna open up this thing here. And this time I can say yes because I hooked it up correctly. Alright. So we'll scroll through the top here because it's easier to see the pictures. Uh, we'll go right to the beginning and let's see if we got them all. Oops, there's one. Blue Water Bistro. Something's wrong with that one. And Max Smokehouse. And Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. Okay, so I'm going to check out to see what's wrong. You'll find this happen as if you misname them or um, so you gotta sort of double check the name versus what you got in the spreadsheet. Okay, so even me who's been doing this for a while made a dumb mistake. So I've got default in the old folder here and this new folder that I created down here. Uh, this one here, that's the one we're actually operating off of. It doesn't have the default picture, so I've got to copy it in there. So what you do is you hold down the control key and drag like so. Okay, and that copies the picture. It's a little trick. All right, now we should be okay. So let's go back. I'm going to shut this thing down here. See, it says default JPEG. All right, now it's there. All right, so let's do that again. Oh, Max Smokehouse, what the heck's wrong with that? Okay, so see, dumb mistake, forgot to put .jpg in there. So that's why Max wasn't, it's the only one left that made a mistake. Now, I can't actually edit this while you have the document open. You actually have to save the doc close it, and you have to close this, and then reopen it. Because you can't edit while the document's accessing it. So I'm going to find that. Put in the .jpg. And now it should be happy, finally. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so let's buzz through. There's 58 of them here. Let's see if they all come up. They do. We have success. And of course, it's uh, down here. It's the same thing. Some of them are pretty looking cool. Look at that one. Jalisco. That looks like a very cool website that we didn't build. Okay. All right, looks like all the wording fits. Great. Okay, so now we're going to edit recipient list, go like this. And it shows you the columns. Now I was hoping the columns to the left would show up. Uh, this one here is hoping would show up over there, but I don't know. So you can actually drag it like that. Okay, so we want to select everything with email. There's a couple of different ways of doing that. Now, first you unselect everything, and then you can just manually click like this. Okay. Now, I think I did the first 10. Let's see, with my, yeah. 
there's my email address okay so we're gonna mail those out to me all right let's double check and see if this is list is correct it should stop right there okay there's nine of them all right so it doesn't go any further because that's all you've selected here see the only one's checked off. That's a real cool way of doing it. There's another way of doing it where you can actually put in a formula with a filter, but I'm not going to show you that right now. Okay, so now we're going to email this. This is the good part. We're going to email it. I'm going to email it to my own address. Okay. We'll send email messages. And it says to where? Well, we don't want that email. We want this one here because that's where my email addresses are. Okay, and then we're going to say all, well, all meaning the ones we've ticked off so far. Subject line, uh, let's see. Okay, so on my subject line I put stop, don't pay for yellow pages. Hopefully that gets their attention. And we can put it as plain text attachment or HTML. I'm going to choose the HTML. The little hazard with that is a lot of spam filters if they see images and colored writing will filter that out but some won't so sort of taking a chance there but you got nothing to lose really because you can always just mail this out anyway Let's see if it works okay so I'm going to say okay and as you can see my Right there, the little circle going, it's going. It's sending it all out. And now I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to check my email and see what I got there. Okay, now if I'm, I'm looking at my email here. And we can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Let's see, it takes its time. It doesn't do it real quick, so it doesn't get flagged like spam or anything. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It looks like I did pretty good. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll take a look at full view. Now, it doesn't format perfectly like it does on uh, paper, but not bad. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Okay, this is an email. So basically, this is what they're getting, you know. Uh, and that looks like you did a web page for them, <laughs> or a mobile site for them. All right, and they can recognize their storefront. Okay, so imagine that's me looking at my place and looking at this. All right, so... There you go. It comes through pretty good as an email. And that's how you'd send out an email. Okay, so what's happening is um, Outlook sends the emails and it will send it from the default account. I have five accounts set up here. And that's the default one. So whatever you set as default is where it will send it from. Okay, so one word of caution, if you do this, don't send more than 200 in a batch at once. Because uh, uh, if you're using a Gmail account, I'm, I'm setting up Outlook with a Gmail account. If you want to know how to do that, you just look it up on YouTube. I'm not going to go into an explanation here, but if it's Gmail, do only 200 at a time. And wait about an hour before you... Uh, you might have to wait 24 hours. I can't remember what the rule is, but that's how you use Word and Outlook to send out email. Okay, and if you now you, you wait a while, see if you get any results from your email. And if you do, and you don't need to actually mail it, then you can unclick the ones you don't want to print. Okay, now we can print off 
later on, say it's a week later, we can just go like this and select all of them. If you didn't get a response on your email, and we can just print all of them. Okay? And if later on down the road we say have a tent card set up for whatever we, let's see, where do we do this here? Uh, tent card, okay. Let's scroll down. Okay. So it'd be that guy there. We only marked off two. And then you just click that one once you've got your tent card uh, template set up. If you got a postcard, well, then we check out postcard here. Now you can always drag these over. Okay. To the beginning here. That's a bit of a pain, but uh, I'm going to scroll down, find out who's going to get a postcard. It would be that guy. Okay. So that's how you select from your list, uh, selecting documents to print. Hope that helps. So we'll get on to the next lesson now. And this is going to be the one you've all been waiting for. It's the big secret. How do you insert the merge code? What's the trick? How do you keep the pictures from going all over the place? How do you contain them? How do you format them? All the little secrets that took me a couple months to figure out. And I happen to be an experienced programmer, so it took a bit of <laughs> fooling around research. Uh, but I did figure it out. I figured out all the little rules so you don't have to make the mistakes I did. And that is in the next lesson.